A big thank you to InstaWP for sponsoring this video. InstaWP is a great way to create, test and deploy WordPress websites in just one click. Good morning, WordPress 6.5 is due to be released on the 26th of March 2024 and here in just over 250 seconds, it's what's coming. Finally, we have a way that you can upload your own fonts and choose Google fonts. Just come to your global styles, click on typography, and then you'll see this little icon up here. Click on that, manage fonts. Two options here, you can either upload your own fonts and it supports all these different formats, or you can install Google fonts. You can now fix the aspect ratio of your cover blocks, which is fantastic because they work now seamlessly on mobile and also on desktop. To fix the aspect ratio, just click onto styles, come to the bottom right and you'll see this brand new option that says aspect ratio. Click onto that drop down and you'll see all the options in there that you can apply. You're now going to be able to add background images to the group block. The group block is a bit like a container block, so it's very, very versatile. Here you can see I've added one. Just come to styles and you'll see this brand new option, background image. And of course, because it's a group block, we can do snazzy stuff like make it full width. You can now put any blocks you like within the navigation block. What this means is you can do cool stuff like add social icons up here or also add a search box. Even more excitingly, this opens the way to mega menus like you can see up on your screen now, just built with core Gutenberg blocks and a bit of know-how. If you want to see how these are done, there's a link in the description. Next up is what I think is the most exciting part of WordPress 6.5, and those are pattern overrides. Let me try and explain. So what you can do is you can have a design that's stored centrally, in this case a call to action with a photograph maybe and a price. So you've got content and design. And what you can do is you can use those on multiple pages, a thousand pages if you want to. But with patterns, you can override them. So on each particular pattern, in this case, you might be able to put a different price depending on what the offer is. But what you can do now in WordPress 6.5 is you can change one aspect of the design and have that filter throughout all your patterns and everywhere they're used, but keep everything else the same. So imagine this on your website, if you created a call to action, but it wasn't actually converting, you could go in centrally and change the design. I've jazzed mine up a little bit and it would filter down to every occurrence of where that design had been used, but all the text that had been put in locally would be maintained. And here's how to actually use that on your site, create it as a block pattern. And if I just want this section here to be editable, I would just select it and then click this option down here, allow instance overrides. Then when you use that on your site in any of your pages, the only bit you're gonna be able to edit is that paragraph block, not the actual cover block itself. But now imagine you've got brand new photography that you wanna use on all the instances where that pattern has been used throughout your site but you don't wanna change the text on each of those patterns. Well, it's really simple. All you would need to do is replace the image on the original block pattern, like so, and then every instance of where that block pattern had been used would automatically be updated, but the text would stay the same. You can now rename any block you like using the list view, just right click on it and come down and click on rename and give it a name. This is super helpful for organizing your content. The group block and columns block and the buttons block and also the image block now have cool inbuilt support for super drop shadows. Gutenberg is also getting some amazing performance improvements in WordPress 6.5. You can see on the screen the difference between WordPress 6.4 and WordPress 6.5 and the speed increases over in the far right column. These both affect the block editor and also the site editor. This is great news. There is also some really cool stuff for developers in WordPress 6.5. One of those is the block bindings API. This paves the way for us to have native support for custom fields in a future release of WordPress. Another really exciting feature for developers is the interactive API, which is really, really exciting, but also really, really hard to explain in a short video like this. So subscribe if you wanna see a more in-depth look at that in the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you can hit the like button now, it would be amazing because it makes a huge, 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 huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. It really, really does. So thank you if you can hit that like button. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos around WordPress, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.